How to brew a large batch of coffee? Now this is the question that's asked a lot of times online because sometimes you need to brew coffee for 5 extra people, 20 extra people, 100 extra people. Where do you start? What do you do? What are the options? Well, this video will look at all of the different solutions to that problem and compare the pros and cons of each solution. Now this is a list of all the different solutions. This is a comparison of all of them side by side. The goal of this chart is to give you a quick overview of the different solutions you can take to make a big batch of coffee. In the first column, we have how much coffee you will get with the solution. Then we have how long it will take to make coffee with the solution. Then we have how expensive the solution is. Then we have the amount of effort you need to put into the solution. And finally, we see if you need any additional equipment, which includes either a coffee brewer or a grinder. I'll now go through each solution and provide you with some extra knowledge and thoughts on them. Use the timestamps below to jump to the solution you want to learn about right away. The Drip Machine. This is a big boy brewing device that takes up a lot of space on your countertop. It has a heating plate that keeps coffee warm, however make sure to not let your coffee sit there for too long, otherwise it'll become over extracted and bitter as time goes by. This is a stellar option for a communal space like an office where multiple people want coffee at different times of the day. The Big Brewer Did you know that most manual brewing devices have an extra large option? So the Hario V60 version 3 can brew up to 700 milliliters, a 8 cup Chemex can brew up to 1.2 liters, and a big French press can brew up to 1.5 liters. With the solution, you get to select the black coffee style that you really enjoy. So if you like the clarity and the tea-like cup of coffee, then get a pour-over device like a Hario V60 or a Chemex. If you like a higher emphasis on mouthfeel and grittiness and texture, plus oils, then a French press is for you. Brewing coffee takes a lot of time, effort, and skill, so why not make it into a mini show? This is also why this solution is a great option for coffee enthusiasts. Multiple brewers. Now what's better than one big brewer? Well, two or three big brewers. This pad takes a lot of multitasking skills because you might have to juggle a Hario V60 and also a French press at the same time. Just like how brewing with one big brewing device is a mini show, well, brewing with multiple brewing devices is an even bigger show and quite the spectacle. You get the perk of mixing different black coffee styles with the solution. Just like how a big brewer is a great option for coffee enthusiasts, this is an even better option for coffee enthusiasts because they get to showcase all of their coffee brewing devices in one go. Cowboy Coffee this is a popular brewing method for camping because all you need is a big cast iron pot, ground coffee, water, and a fire pit. Even though this coffee method is primarily used during camping trips, you can retrofit it for home use with a regular pot and your stove top. The charm of this method is that you get to brew as much coffee as you can in a pot that you have. A downside of this brewing method is that it produces really gritty coffee that is not for everyone. A solution to that is to pour the liquid through a paper filter if possible. I've linked to a cowboy coffee brewing recipe down below if you want to give this a whirl. Cold brew. As the name implies, it is cold coffee. And with cold coffee comes a lot of cold coffee qualities. So it's more concentrated, it has less acidity, and obviously it's cold coffee. These qualities are not for everyone. With this solution, you can brew a pretty big batch of cold coffee and store it for weeks. This also makes it the fastest serving option once brewed. All you need to do is pour it over ice and done. Due to its cold coffee qualities, this solution is not for everyone. However, it excels in very specific scenarios like a hot summer day. Instant coffee, one of the quickest large brew solutions out there. A mini pop quiz here. How many liters of coffee will these three 8 ounce jars of Folgers Classic Roast create? Following the brewing recommendations, these three canisters can produce around 63 liters of coffee. 
Now that's a lot of coffee. Did you also know that quality instant coffee actually exists? They use quality Arabica beans to produce their coffee crystals, which then create a pretty good cup of coffee. It's a great emergency option for those times when some guests come over and you want to serve them coffee. Another charm of instant coffee is that it's dried, which means that it also has a lifelong shelf life. Coffee pouches. This is a pretty unique solution on the list that is new on the market. It combines the convenience of instant coffee with quality raw ingredients of Arabica beans. The brewing process is identical as a tea bag. Plop the coffee pouch into boiling water, wait a couple of minutes, and then remove it. Even though the coffee is ground, these tea bags have a shelf life of around 6 months because their bags are properly sealed and nitrogen flushed. This option produces a speciality cup of coffee that rivals your local cafe at the convenience of instant coffee. Now that's crazy. Your local cafe. Now this is a option you don't really think about, but why not take all your Patreons over to your local cafe where they can pick whatever they want. You get access to a full cafe menu, meaning lattes, cappuccinos, black coffee, tea, lemonade, whatever they want, they'll get. One of the big downsides of this option is that you're limited to the selection around you and their restrictions, so your cafe hours and locations play a big part in this option. Quality coffee will also fluctuate depending on what option you select. I think this is one of the most ideal solutions for a small group of picky people. Everyone gets what they want and the quality of coffee, that responsibility goes onto the cafe. Get delivery. Now this has a lot of the same perks as going to your local cafe. You get access to their full menu, you are limited to their hours and locations, the coffee quality will vary, but you will be doing all of this from the comfort of your own couch. And also the coffee might just be a bit cold when it arrives. Catering services. This is a solution that requires planning days before the event of actually having coffee. The cafes that provide the service are few and far apart, so your selection is quite limited. To be honest, this is one of the most expensive options on the list, and what you get is really just subpar black coffee. This option is primarily used for big events or gatherings like a wedding or a company lunch and learn. And that's the end of the list. It's a really extensive list of solutions. But I think that since everyone has their individual circumstances to worry about, being this in-depth and detailed is important because everyone's best solution will be different. And on that note, how do you brew a large batch of coffee? Tell me in the comments below how you would brew a big batch of coffee for, let's say, 10 people. I'll see you in the next video.